Okay, friends, so we've launched our rockets into space, and now what? What goes up must come down. The Crew Dragon will be spending some time on the International Space Station, but eventually they're going to need to return to Earth. Hopefully everyone will be watching, but until then, we have some science to attend. Remember our lesson on which falls faster? We know that some objects fall much quicker due to less air resistance on them. But if everything fell that quickly, it could be quite dangerous to humans as well as objects. We also know that many times we need to slow that resistance to make it more safe for people to land or objects to land. One way humans have done this is with the use of parachutes. Now you've probably played with making parachutes before. Parachutes have been used not only to land people safely here on Earth, but also objects. The Apollo capsule released three parachutes once it reached our atmosphere so that it could land safely on the water and then be recovered by NASA. NASA would be waiting to help the astronauts out and save the heavy capsule from falling to the ocean floor. One change that we've already noticed between the early rockets on, and the Falcon 9 is that with what happened with the first section after separation. In the past, it would fall to the Earth and it would be collected by um, NASA. But with the new technological advances, the Falcon was able to land remotely to a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. That was so amazing. Now, unfortunately, the close-up camera did cut out right at that last second, but we still do have some video footage to show you, so take a look. And watch as it's coming into land. X marks the spot. Touchdown. That is just so cool. So here's my challenge to you. You're going to need a raw egg to represent the crew dragon. Go ahead and decorate it. You can add stickers, markers, whatever you want. You do want to make sure that it is raw. And you want to make sure that you're protecting it. Okay. So with this raw egg, I'm going to have Eli demonstrate for us, but you're going to drop it from about five feet. <gasps> oh no! That is not what we want to happen with the crew dragon. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, so we need to create a way to safely transport our capsule from the ground safely after having been dropped from a minimum of five feet, which is about eye level. For some of you, it's going to be above your head. You can use your choice of materials, take pictures, or create a video of your test. Did it crack? If not, fantastic. Can you drop it from even higher? If it did crack, what could you redesign so that you could better protect your egg from cracking? Now you'll see here that my son and some of his friends got together to solve this challenge. They were gathering materials that they found around the house and each of them had their own egg and they had to come up with a design that would protect the egg from damage when dropped from a height. Here they all dropped their eggs from just holding it above their head. We've got some slow motion going on here. But we discovered that actually only one egg survived so all of the boys had to go back and redesign their original plans um, to see if they can make it safer. And that's your challenge now, too. Now, how high can you drop it? The ultimate challenge will be require help from an adult, from a parent to drop it from a height like around your roof. So whether it's hall, ladder, or something like that, how high can you drop your design and still protect your capsule? Have fun doing that.